Hi, and welcome to This Week in Santa Clarita 2012 Recap Show. I'm your host, Lauren Sapa, and I'm here to tell you all about exciting events This Week in Santa Clarita covered throughout the past year. The city is known for hosting big events every year. Events like the annual Cowboy Festival, held at Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studios, and Earth Arbor Day held at Central Park. This year's Cowboy Festival was a big success, with thousands of people from all around the nation getting a glimpse of how times looked in the Old West. So right now I'm at the 2012 City of Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival presented by Lockheed Federal Credit Union. Uh, warm day today, good turnout. We've got great cowboy music, we've got great cowboy poetry, some cowboy gear and some delicious cowboy food. Uh, right now we're going to take a closer look at this year's festival. Each year thousands of guests come to Santa Clarita to celebrate Western culture, a musical lineup of show-stopping talent, trick ropers, shopping, food, and a variety of activity for all ages. Some of the headliners for the main stage included Don Edwards, the Quaby Sisters Band, Cal Bop, Waddy Mitchell, R.W. Hampton, and Adrian Buckaroo Girl. One of the popular stages was the Medicine Show Review, which featured Magic of Pop Hayden and the Gun Spinning of Joey Dillon. This year there was also a lot of activities for kids, such as the Pioneer Living Exhibit, where they could pan for gold, spin wool, and relive the old days like children of the early West. Another unique aspect of the festival was the Western merchandise for sale. This included hats, jewelry, and other authentic gear. Aside from the entertainment, the Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio is part of what brings festival goers back year after year. First opened in 1915, the famed Melody Ranch Motion Picture Studio has been home to hundreds of films and television shows. By the time Monogram Studios sold the ranch to legendary Gene Autry in 1952, over 750 B-Westerns had been filmed on location at the ranch. Over the years, Melody Ranch has seen the faces of dozens of celebrated cowboy actors, including William S. Hart, Gary Cooper, Tom Mix, Roy Rogers, Bill Boyd, and John Wayne. Earth Arbor Day is an annual event held at Central Park, which teaches residents how to stay green. So right now, I am joined with Festival Director for Earth Arbor Day Celebration, Jenny Shadle of the City's Arts and Events Division. Uh, Jenny, talk about what's going on today. Well, today we are celebrating the Earth. So we have um, free trees to give away. We also have a lot of exhibitors coming out and displaying their products and just letting everyone know about eco-friendly products and organizations in Santa Clarita. And of course, it rained all day yesterday. It's a little chilly today, but there's still a good turnout. People are enjoying their uh, free trees, mulch, and ladybugs. It's true, everyone is still here. Um, it's great weather, um, it's sunny, and the ground's dry, so we're able to come out and enjoy, enjoy the festival. And as viewers can probably tell, there's live music all day. Um, this is a really popular festival with residents. It is. People like to come out. They like to volunteer. Um, there is trees that get planted all around Central Park. We have 200 volunteers that come out to uh, bag mulch, give away trees, uh, plant trees. Um, it's, a, it's a great event for the whole community. In 2011, the city held a heroin symposium for its Heroin Kills campaign to inform residents on how big heroin and other drugs are in America and how it affects our youth today. This year, the city held Heroin Kills one year later. On August 29th, the city of Santa Clarita will host Heroin Kills one year later. It's a look at heroin addiction in the Santa Clarita Valley. And here to talk to us about that is Janine Prado from the city's Human Services Division. Uh, Janine, what are we going to see on the 29th? This year we're doing a follow-up to last year's symposium. We're going to have an opportunity for people to look at the heroin incidents and fatalities from this past year compared to last year. We're going to have a panel of experts that will talk about the various incidents, whether it's drug, re drug recovery, addiction. We're going to have Captain Becker speaking, as well as Heart District will be present there. And also, too, we're going to have um, a person from the faith-based organizations coming to talk about their coalition, how they're looking at addressing the issues of drugs in the city of Santa Clarita. Okay, so we held, we held this last year in response to really a spike in, in heroin fatalities and arrests. Um, over the last year, we really haven't seen much of a change. I mean, we're still getting a lot of the same issues. Yes, it's very frightening. It hasn't decreased. It still is here in the city of Santa Clarita, and we just are really looking at all means and facets to address that issue. And, you know, we, we did hold it, hold it last year, and the room was packed. I mean, it was literally standing room only. There was people out the doors at the activity center. Um, Describe what people are gonna gonna hear there. So this is gonna be a group of panelists that really are on the front lines of the fight against uh, Santa Clarita's battle with heroin. 
Yes, it is. Captain Becker will lead off our panelists, and he will give you a pretty good perspective from the law enforcement agencies of what people are seeing out there on the street. In addition to that, we have a doctor from Henry Mayo that will give a, a bird's eye view of what happens in the emergency room. Also, we have two people from recovery and family support groups are going to talk specifically about how it affects recovery and families. And we also have Kathy Hunter from the school, the Hart School District, that's really going to talk about what's happening in schools and a new program that we have for young people in the junior and high schools. Also this year, the city launched the new Defy It program. So all across the Santa Clarita Valley, every junior high school and high school is launching a brand new anti-drug program called Defy It, Drug for Youth in Town. Today, we're at the Valencia High School launch. Defy It, Drug for Youth in Town is a free school-based voluntary anti-drug club for high school teens. The goal of Defy It is for teens to thrive drug-free in a club run by kids for kids. The goal is also to provide a positive peer network that supports healthy choices and a drug-free lifestyle. Santa Clarita Mayor Frank Ferry stressed the importance of maintaining the peer-based nature of the clubs. This is a student-ran program for students. We do not want adults like myself, teachers, administrators, at all to influence or pollute the idea. The idea is students are standing up saying, I'm making a good choice, join me, and through great activities, through great uh, giveaways, they can celebrate making good choices. There are a lot of new and exciting things happening in Old Town New Hall. One example is the building improvements that have been completed to local businesses. Mayor Lori Ender and members of the Santa Clarita City Council were joined by business owners, members of the Old Town New Hall Association, and other officials to celebrate the completion of the first building improvement grant project in Old Town New Hall. The Holzman Family Trust, who owns the property, won the grant and was able to improve two of the buildings for two local businesses, the Puchella Winery and New Hall Bicycle. Mayor Lori Ender talked about the project. This is such great news for Old Town New Hall. We are using money that came from the federal government that we gave in grants to some of our local businesses to make improvements in the neighborhood. And so we've got a couple of businesses here who did a major change in the front of their stores and it looks fabulous and the response from the residents and the other businesses has been really positive. You know, the partnerships have been huge, especially because we are asking the businesses to join with us and kind of take a leap of faith, that we've all got this vision together and it takes time and it takes money, but those who've signed up for it are really, I think, true believers when they see what we've accomplished now. And so it's, and it's our partnership back to them, really proving to them that we have the commitment to this community and we're going to stick with it. After years of planning and months of construction work, the Old Town New Hall Library was finally completed in late September. So right now I am standing in front of the brand new Old Town New Hall Library at the corner of Main Street and Lyons Avenue in Old Town New Hall. Uh, just moments ago we had the grand opening celebration which featured Mayor Frank Ferry and members of the Santa Clarita City Council. The build up to the opening of the library included a street fair with over 20 vendors and an opening ceremony that featured a special invocation from local clergymen, the Star Spangled Banner sung by local performers, the Four Hearts, and comments by Mayor Frank Ferry and head librarian Ed Kachikowski. Local students who entered a poetry contest related to the library were also recognized leading up to the ribbon cutting. After the ribbon cutting, we caught up with Mayor Frank Ferry, who talked about some of the features of the new library. Uh, today we opened it up. Uh, some of the things as an educator, I'm a principal, I'm just amazed by the fact that you can go check out laptops uh, with the library card. The fact they have these conference rooms for study groups, uh, the kids' reading rooms, uh, the fireplace for people to read read by. Um, the views, um, breathtaking views of downtown Newhall, of residential areas, of all the mountains looking over the valley. I mean this architecture uh, from LPA is amazing and it just is a great day for the city of Santa Clarita. Later on, head librarian Ed Kachikowski shared his thoughts on the new library as well. Well today's a great day. We, we opened on time. It was September 29th. We picked a date three months ago and everything came together. So. It's great. It's great to see all the people here. We're real curious to see what the gate counts are going to be at the end of the day because uh, there's a, been a lot of interest in this building. 